And next up is transitions we have included in this project. So uh, you can find all transitions in folder number 11 here. And when you open this, uh, there are different kinds, six folders inside. So these all are drag and drop transitions. And uh, usually you would use these in this all scenes composition where you have uh, put all your scenes you are going to use or render out. So uh, let's uh, try to add some of these here. And um, we have these uh, three final scenes here, which we made earlier. This is the second one and the third one. And of course, all these three are not really so similar or uh, they don't have a uh, similar look. So normally I wouldn't use these in uh, one video, but uh, let's try just out these transitions and and look how it turns out. So I'll uh, take uh, one transition from this first folder here, this fade blur lens and just drag this uh, on top of my uh, two scenes I want to transition. And now I just uh, drag this um, on timeline so that the peak marker is exactly where your cut between the two scenes or is like this. Okay. Maybe it's good to zoom in a bit. And now we can see how it looks like, but before that, you have to again turn on this Collapse Transformations button here, so it will work. So just drag and drop and turn on this uh, Collapse Transformations button and now we can mm, make a RAM preview for this. So usually I prefer to have some similarity or maybe a color theme or contrast or something that connects the two scenes that are uh, uh, that are transitioning but you don't have to do it this way of course it's a matter of taste more i think okay that takes a few seconds more and then we can view this Okay, and yeah, I would use this, but um, I would like it to be a bit slower. So how you can do this, you just click on this uh, transition layer here inside the timeline and then uh, right click on it and go to time, enable time remapping. And now you have these keyframes in the end and beginning and you can now drag this out if you want to make it slower then drag this out the start point and drag drag out this end point and then i will move these keyframes to here like this now we can review this and of course if you want to make it shorter then you would just uh, take in these keyframes yeah i think it looks better like this so this is how you add transition and you can uh, adjust the time duration of this transition this way and let's try out another one uh, here on the second cut and this time I would use uh, another maybe this glitch strips which I think uh, looks pretty good with double exposure um, scenes and let's take this first one again I'll drag and drop it here and then uh, set it so on timeline that the cut marker is exactly where the cut happens and turn on this collapse transformations button here and now let's view this okay that's good too but again these two are so these two scenes are so different in um, brightness and uh, I would use something more similar then the transition also works better but that's okay for now yeah that's all about transitions